Yeah, really good. Um, obviously, we got a few new additions to the squad, and um, the girls trained really well last night. Um, very positive. Um, so yeah, no, the, the vibe being around the group was good last night. It's a pretty eventful game on Sunday. Mm. Uh, HIA is in being a couple of days. How proud of your team just to keep fighting? Yeah, really proud. I think you know, that's been our season really with um, a lot of HIAs and um, dealing with a lot of um, stuff during the game. Um, you know, I thought I'd seen it all until the weekend. You know, we had two Category 1s. Um, you know, we had a sin bin. Um, no, I was super proud of the group. It's a hard time around Prince. I've heard probably the winner of the few games this weekend. She's the first player to do so, and Ali will do so on Sunday. Um, I guess how lucky do you feel to have her in this team and what a good moment is that? Yeah, for um, Zara to reach 40 in our all-W games, it's... Um, Massive, you know, when it um, 2018 and then played three games, you know, so if you work it all out, um, 40 games is quite a lot. Uh, for us, it's um, it's good for our younger girls. You were relatively young in um, NRLW experience um, and age, so you know, for, for a lot of our girls um, to be able to play with Zahara um, with the experience that she's got, and um, you know, happy for Z that you know she gets her 40th game this weekend. Yeah, I think, um, you know, on the weekend to lose Mimes after, you know, seven or eight minutes, whatever it was, it, um, it was going to be a tough challenge for us. And, you know, um, I felt Seti did a really good job, stepped up, and um, it'd be no different this weekend. It's um, confident with the squad that we've got um, and the changes that we've made that, um, you know, hopefully we get the job done on the weekend. Yeah, I think for uh, Emma, it's um, you know a good reward and a good opportunity for her to um, to start. And um, yeah, for Shante, I think she's played a little bit of lock before, but um, she was doing a really good job there last night in ball work. And um, yeah, I think uh, she'll be she'll be good for us on the weekend. And um, you know, if if Emma gets a bit tired, we can shuffle Shante back to nine. So there's some good options there for us for the weekend. Yeah, good point. Um, you know, she came through our Tasha Gale team this year and um, she fully deserves her opportunity. She's been really um, working hard at training and, um, you know, that's probably the best part of the job too is, you know, when we told her that she was debuting, it was, um, yeah, a lot of relief, I guess, and um, she was very happy that she's getting this opportunity for this weekend. And I know she won't let the team down. She is. She, um, you know, she's well above her years in um, her attitude and um, the way she treats people. And you know, she's a really good teammate. And you know, I think um, there's a lot of girls who'll have her back out on the field this weekend. And um, I'm sure she'll do a good job for us. Yeah, I think. Um, knowing where Um has come from with her journey and the serious injury and stuff like that and um, you know the player that she was before the injury you know it's it's just a beginning of a new journey for her and um, it was a little bit of a taste for her on the weekend um, to get back out there and you know I think she'll keep building with confidence each week and um, on Georgia you know it was um, you know I, I kept telling the group and it's been the same message all year like one minute in rugby league is a long time and anything can happen and um, look at the weekend, you know, it was um, two Category 1s and she got her opportunity and I'm um, so happy for her and it was a good moment. It was, we were lucky that her parents were there to see it as well and, um, yeah, happy for Georgia. Mm. They're a good side. They're a good young team. Um, yeah, so on a, we've just got to be on our game and um, it's a bit similar to, to how we're sort of handled it after the Tigers, to be honest, is just worrying about um, our performance and, um, you know, I've said it in the last few weeks, like, we're, we're winning in different ways. Um, you know, we're, we are relatively inexperienced in um, NRLW games and stuff like that and, and age, so, you know, there's a lot of lessons that we're learning at the moment um, and it just happens to be that it's not, it's, it's not on the right end of the scoreboard for us, but, um, you know, we're remaining positive and um, we're building for the future here as well.